Oh, hello there everybody. What do you think of this picture frame? Not sure, not sure I like it, but it's gonna stay for this video anyway. Right, now let's have a look. My hair, it may change in a minute because the missus is about to cut it and um, I don't do continuity, so it'll probably go like this again and it'll go short and long, ah, whatever. Now this video, it's a little bit risque, a little bit rude, a little bit naughty, so if you're easily offended, see you in the next video. Look, I'll Now I've heard there's some Mr. Men coins coming up. Okay, I suppose that's a bit of a laugh, but we don't know what they're going to be. I've got a feeling it's probably going to be 450p's, three of them in circulation, and one of them you have to buy extortionate prices. I know they've got to make their money somehow, but anyway. So I think we need a new set of 10p's, 26 new 10p coins. And what shall we have on them? Well, I think they should be rude words that are quintessentially British. Words that we only use in the UK and Ireland that are, well, not used much in the rest of the world, really. Here's the first example. So let's start at A, and uh, at the moment, as you know, A is Angel of the North, and in my set, A would stand for ass. I mean, what a great word. They don't use it anywhere else, do they? In America, they say ass. What's that, donkey? <laughs> yeah, ass, what a lovely word. You've got to admit, absolutely British. You can't get more British than ass. <laughs> oh dear. Now, the next one is uh, B, which is obviously going to be a bollocks, but we won't dwell too long on that one. We'll now we'll move on to C. <laughs> oh, can't do this. Now, C, I think, should be cobblers. As in, what a load of cobblers. Now, I need some help because I can't think of a D or an E. Now F, can't have the F word, can we? Or can we? Because I was thinking the ruder the word, the rarer the coin could be. So a word like arse, where well, you could have a million of those, couldn't you? Bollocks, probably not so many. Um, cobblers, yeah, you could have another million of them. But when you get to the F word, why not just have a thousand? Why not just have a thousand minted and spread them all over the country? Because if you found one in your change, you'd say that anyway, wouldn't you? Now, I think G should be git. That's a British thing, isn't it? I don't think they say that anywhere else in the world, do they? You old git. What a silly old git. No, they don't. British only, we're having G for git. Now, I can't think of a H, I, J. Now, for K, you've got a choice of three. You can either have knickers, knackers, or knockers. The choice is yours. And having a haircut in the middle of a video is not very professional, is it? Oh well, there we go. Anyway, let's carry on. Is that a bit harsh? Have I gone too much on that? Don't know, right, let's see. Now, M, L, no L, L, K, L. I can't think of an L. Anybody think of an L? The only M I can think of is Muppet. Now, I know it's not a British word, but we seem to have stole it. We use it over here, don't we, more than America. What a Muppet. You Muppet. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to claim that one for us. <laughs> oh, it's come back. Continuity. The next one is N is numpty. Not even a rude word, really, is it? It's a little bit of an insult, you numpty. <laughs> oh, you, there's probably going to be two million of those, because that's not very rude at all. I can't think of an O. Now, P, pillock. What about pillock? You're a complete... Pillock. That's got to be a British word. I can't imagine any other country saying that. Pillock. What a great word. Complete, complete pillock. Love it. Now, I can't think of a Q. I can't even think of an R. But S is controversial. Now, if you take away the E, oh, it's quite a rude word, isn't it? Probably unacceptable. But if you, if you add an E... It softens it, doesn't it? Soft as um... <laughs> so I'm going to send these to the Royal Mint. And if they say to me, no, sorry, we don't do coins with just words on, I'm going to say, oh, yes, you do, Royal Mint. Oh, yes, you do. You started it. <laughs> I 
Now, I'm sure that England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland have all got their own swear words for their own countries that we wouldn't understand in each other's countries, but I'm trying to um, get a list of nationwide ones that everybody understands in the UK, but not many people abroad say them. Okay, next we come to tea, and this is a good one. Twerp. Alexa, define twerp. Twerp is usually defined as an insignificant or despicable fellow. An insignificant or despicable fellow. There you go. Now you know. I'm sorry if I set your Alexa off then. <laughs> okay, that was T. I can't think of a U or a V, but now we come to W. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Shall I do it? I don't know. Shall I do it? Shall I do it? So, shall I do it? Shall I? Do it. Shall I flash it? Ah, well, there we go. That's what you're going to say. Now that's going to be a low mintage. That's quite rude, that word. Isn't it? That's going to be 25,000. So imagine you're doing your 10p hunt. Oh, there's an arse. Oh, look at that. Is it? Is it? Oh, that's another arse. Oh, got a wanker. Well, there we are. I can't find X, Y, or Z. Z, and it is pronounced Z. Uh, well, please subscribe if you want to see some more wonderful videos like this. Click that bell, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and if you could just click the like button down there, I would really appreciate that. Bye.